So Stability AI launches SDXL 0.9, which is their new stable diffusion model for text to image. Okay. So this model is available within their tool called ClipDrop. I have made a previous video on this model. So today I'll be just trying out ClipDrop, their tool, where you can actually put in text prompts and you can create images. Okay. So uh, this is one of the images which I have generated in ClipDrop. Okay. So here my prompt is, you know, a tiger in Bandipur National Park, right? Uh, you know, then chili, uh, natural chili nature documentary. Okay. So that is the prompt which I put and these are the images which have been generated. Okay. If you were to look at the images, right, you know, the images are quite, uh, you know, they have been generated in a very good manner, I would say. Okay. So for whatever reason, you know, I'm not able to zoom in, but then the image is quite good. Okay. This is another image which has been generated. So these are HD images. Okay. 1024 by 1024 images, right? You can also download this image. Open it up. Yeah, you can see the quality of the image over here, right? So this is the quality of the image which has been generated, right? And this comes with this, what do you call, watermark over here. So the images are quite well detailed, okay? I'm not a professional photographer, but yeah, the images are quite well detailed if you just look at it, right? Uh, yeah, so here is one more image which I generated, okay? So this is, I generated an image of two Indian kids on a swing uh, tied up to a tree, okay? Then I said a river flowing underneath it. So that was my this thing and the photographic style is anime over here. Okay, and this was the image which was generated, right? One of the images. This is another image. If you see over here, the legs have gone for a toss, right? This is slightly better, but again, still, if you see over here, a little bit of, you know, the legs are gone for a toss, right? You can see a third leg over here. Uh, yeah, so I think stable diffusion still has problems with hands and legs. Now even here, I don't know why. If you see over here, there are three legs over here. Yeah, still has some issues with legs and hands. Okay, but otherwise, if you look at this image, wow, this has totally gone for a toss or no. Mm, yeah, you can see the hands has gone for a toss over here. But yeah, it generates this image and if you were to quick, if you don't go into the details and just have a quick look, maybe the image looks impressive over here. Okay. Maybe this is the best image out of, but yeah, the legs have gone for a toss. Maybe I need to be more, you know, clear with the prompt. Two Indian quids on a swing tied to a tree, swinging with the river flowing underneath them. Clear legs and hands. I don't know. Let's generate and see. Okay, it says, uh, you know, I have joined as an user over here, but it says to subscribe for a, um, you know, pro subscription for faster results. Oh, this goes for even maybe this image. Slightly better, I believe. Yeah, I think this image is okay. Let me download it and let's try opening it and see. Yeah, this seems to be decent. Even though the legs are a little bit messed up over here, but still it's decent. Okay, so it depends on the prompt again. This is another image which I created uh, using a prompt saying that, yeah, a rainy evening in Bengaluru, MG Street with uh, shops of different hues and a metro train passing by. So this was the image which was generated. Not bad, okay. Uh, you know, this is another image which has been generated, right? 
okay then here is an image from their example prompt a layer of a layer cake made out of stratigraphic cross section of the sonoran desert okay it was basically this example which i tried okay here is another image i like this image um, so here i said magical realism a baby uh, you know angel baby with angel wings flying admits clouds again legs or hands have gone for a toss over here so i think stable diffusion still has issues with legs and hands unless you need to be very specific with prompts i think wow yeah maybe this is okay but i'm a leg missing leg right i think this may be one of the best photographs among those available generated over here i think stable diffusion no the fingers have gone for a toss over here stable diffusion still has issues with fingers and uh, you know hands and legs that's what i'm seeing over here i like this image very much so here i said an ancient temple in the midst of the lake surrounded by mountains light snow early morning okay so that was the prompt over here some of the photos generated for this prompt looks really nice right some of these images are uh, you know i like these images a lot let's see this yeah this image looks magical to me actually uh, some of these images are really good so it yeah the prompt plays a huge role right and then the kind of style on which you want to generate it so this was a photographic style even though it says no style okay maybe i'll go back and let me see the prompt yeah this was no style an ancient temple in the midst of a lake surrounded by mountains light snow early morning maybe i will put it as uh, twilight sun let's see what gets generated and photographic style okay and i'll say generate okay skip so it says 10 images waiting to be pre-processed 20 images waiting to be processed but then it uh, gets processed fast see wow some of these images are quite amazing let's maybe quickly download this and see yeah this is quite beautiful the rays of the sunlight within the temple and you know twilight light snow some of these pictures are amazing so that's what step um, so with sdxl you can produce some brilliant images but i think it still has um, it struggles with hands and fingers right hands and legs and fingers uh the interesting part about this tool is that when i checked it out um, you know if you look at the pricing it is available for 250 rupees per month uh, in a subscription pro uh, subscription and you can generate up to 1500 images per day you can do other things also like uh, you know background removal text remover unlimited web editor right unlimited replace background unlimited image scaler a lot of facilities are available over here even the free version is good uh, watermark is present you could generate up to 400 images per day you know background removal is maximum on an image of 1024 into 1024 uh, relighting you can do different things over here so the subscription pricing seems to be reasonable to me okay i'm not comparing it to midnight journey or uh, any of the other tools just looking at standalone okay so you can do other things also with this tool like removing uh, cleaning up basically removing objects text defects from your pictures you can also remove backgrounds from pictures you can do relighting of pictures you can upscale images right uh you can replace background you can remove any text uh, from any image right so a lot of other options are also available over here so you can check out this particular tool i'll be putting the link of this tool in the description of the video and also the link to this announcement from stable diffusion on sdxl 0.9 i hope this video is useful for you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video